data collection, data tracking, that might be in your very own school. The, um, recently, it has come to our attention that a program um, produced by West, Edu West Ed has um, been uh, widely used um, throughout the country. The program is PBIS, Positive Behavioral Intervention and Support. Um, again, it was developed by West Ed, who, by the way, received a $30,000 in funding from the Gates Foundation for a meeting that was going to, to be had instructing those involved in the implementation of the Common Core State Standards. This is the same company. PBIS is a program that um, is nothing more than social engineering. In the particular school that I am, um, have in mind, the children through the PBIS program are given blue cards if they misbehave. Uh, a mother has reported to me that these blue cards are threatened if the child won't stand in line correctly. Um, these blue cards are um, given sometimes by teachers, as, as was the case with, with this um, mother's son, um, by people who didn't even see the incident. Why do I say that this is social engineering? Social engineering is um, bullying, threatening people into compliance, as, as these children are. They, they are threatened, um, I understand, uh, very frequently with, um, I'll have to give you a blue card if you don't do this. This is, is social engineering, it is um, control, and it does not develop the inner sense of discipline, the, the self-control that we all need. This develops, uh, a rather, a controlled behavior because of fear. Uh, a little healthy fear is, is uh, never bad for, for all of us, but to, to be fearful of making a move, of, of doing something and being reprimanded is not the way to develop those who should be learning how to be independent, how to be self-reliant, and how to think for themselves. And we do have an incident of, of parents being accountable to the school. It happened in Indiana. Um, the incident uh, occurred again at recess, um, playing football, and um, the child was, was hit with the football in the face, uh, resulted in a big bump and a bruise and, and eventually a black eye. Uh, the school failed to report it to the mother immediately, which I cannot imagine. From there, um, the, the um, school did call the mother as she was in the car pickup line after school, although the child had spent the afternoon in the nurse's office. Um, the nurse had directed him to, to stay in her office and rest for the afternoon. No attempt to contact the parent before that. Uh, the next thing that happened, the, the child went back, was uh, to go back to school. We, we've had terrible weather and a uh, day off was scheduled. Uh, the following day, the child had a orthodontic appointment and um, was not taken to school simply because of, of the delay in the school. Went back to school the following day with a black eye, which um, was resulting from the injury at school. Uh, the mother and father were then contacted by CPS, Child Protective Services, and subjected to a warrantless search. Not only did the CPS come to talk with the parents, the, CB, the CPS photographed the children, photographed their bedrooms, photographed the um, closets, the, the refrigerator. It was a frightening experience. Although CPS said, that indeed um, they, they found nothing wrong, 
uh, CBS indicated that nothing uh, would likely come of it if there were no more problems within the year. This is, I, I illustrate the, and tell you this story because I think it's important to, to know that along with the data mining comes the idea, the mentality that the parents are superficial, are, uh, have nothing to do with the raising of their children, a superiority. Uh, and, and to that I, I conclude that uh, the children are considered wards of the state, property of the state, and not children of their parents.